Welcome back, friends. I am so thankful that I have you to send me these videos because I made a big mistake in this problem, didn't I? The problem said Mrs. Newton cut her watermelon into 10 pieces. Her friends ate three of the pieces at a party. How many pieces of watermelon does Mrs. Newton have left? And you were all telling me that I made a big mistake because I put the pieces of watermelon she had, and then I said there were three more. But the problem actually said that her friends ate three of the pieces. So I put 10 and 3 together when actually we should have been doing what? We should have been taking some away. So she had 10 pieces of watermelon and then her friends ate three of the pieces. So instead of putting more watermelon up, when you eat something, it goes away. One, two, three. That number of watermelon that Mrs. Newton still has got smaller. These are the pieces that she still has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my answer should have been seven. So some friends showed me that with their counters. Some friends also, get rid of these watermelon pieces. Some friends were able to use a drawing to show this. And what they did was they drew the pieces of watermelon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we know when we're taking something away, if we draw a picture, we can put an X on it. So how many pieces was I supposed to take away? I was supposed to take away three. One, two, three. And that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces left. Some people even wanted to write an equation. So they wrote 10 because that's what we started with. And then the symbol they used to represent take away was the minus sign. And how many did we take away? Three pieces. This is the watermelon Mrs. Newton started with. These are the pieces of watermelon that her friends ate. And that is equal to or the same as the number seven. That's what is left up here. So we did learn that. Someone else even remembered we could use our number line. Remember when we learned to use our number line with subtraction, instead of the number getting bigger when we're adding to it or putting something together, we go the other way. Our number was getting smaller. So I'm starting here at 10 because Mrs. Newton had 10 pieces of watermelon. Her friends ate three pieces. So I have to jump back one, two, three to the number seven. So we learned all these different ways that we can figure out the correct answer. And you were also able to give me a little help by thinking about what I did and how I made a mistake. So sometimes we have to do that when we're solving a problem to help other mathematicians out or even to help ourselves. If I would have read that problem again and looked at my work, I might have noticed that I made that mistake. 